draw so cute. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw my draw so cute Alice from Alice in Wonderland. So let's get started. With Alice, we're going to first start by drawing her hair. So right here, we're going to draw a curve that comes down like that. So right here, draw a curve, comes down like that. And we're going to start right here again from where you started and draw the other side the same way. So right here, draw another curve that goes this side like that. And now we're going to draw a big curve for her face that connects back up to this side. So right here, draw a curve like that. Another curve like that and connect it like that. So that's just her, her bangs area and then her face. And now we can go up here. We're going to draw a big um, curve right here for the top of her head. So right here, we're going to draw a curve that goes up like that and go all the way back to the other side like that. And now we can draw right here, find the center, go up right here, draw a little curve like that. And we're going to draw the bow on her hair. So come out with a curve, angle line down, and go back in like that. And then right here, we're just going to draw a curve like that. So that would be her bow. And do the same thing with the other side. Draw the same thing. Curve, line, and another curve. And bring in another curve like that. So a very simple bow at the top of her head. And now we can go in and draw her face. So we're going to give her two big uh, draw so cute eyes, of course. So right here, we're going to draw two big circles. Right there, and another one right here. And draw so cute eyes have two small circles inside and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. at the bottom like that. Same thing with the other side. Two circles, small circles, and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom like that. And now we can give her her beautiful eyelashes. So come out right here and give it a curve and another one like that. So same thing over here, curve and another curve. Hmm, this eye looks a lot shorter, doesn't it? Let me see. So continue this line over here. Yep, it is. I'm sorry about that. It's kind of hard to draw my angle. So I'll fix that in when I color it. <laughs> color it. And right here we're going to draw um, eyebrows right here, very soft curve like that, and soft curve like that. And we're going to give her a cute little smile like that, and we can cap it off like that for our Alice. And now we can draw her ears, so right here, two curves like that, same thing the other side, like that. And now Right here, we're going to wait for her hair, the rest of her hair, because we need to finish off her body first. So right here, we're going to draw a curve, find the center, and we're just going to draw a curve like that. And now we're going to draw her collar, so find the center of this curve and come out like that for her collar. Same thing with the other side. Boy, I am just so off right now. <laughs> and then right here, we draw another curve comes out and goes back like that. And right here, we're going to draw a line that comes out right here for her outfit. And we're going to bring it in with a curve like that. Same thing on the other side, bring it in like that. And then we're going to draw an angle line that comes down. So same thing on both sides like that. And then we're going to draw another one that follows the same because she wears a uh, white apron over her dress. So now we're going to connect it right here. 
like that with a curve and connect it with another curve. For the band that's in her that she ties her apron with and right here we're just going to draw a dress that poofs out. Very simple, both sides like that and we're going to connect it with a curve like that. So soft curves and now we can go back in and draw her sleeves. So her sleeves are kind of poofy, comes out and connect it with a line like that. So same thing on the other side, curve, connect it like that. And draw her hands. So basic draw so cute hands for the girls that come out for the fingers, come back in, come out, and go back in like that. Very simple. So same thing on the other side. Curve it out, curve it back in, the thumb, and bring it back in like that. So now we can go back in and draw her apron. So where this line is, we're going to continue it and draw a big curve that comes out. Same thing right here. Bring a big curve comes out and connect it with a big curve like that. So now we can go back in and finish the rest of her hair. So right here, we're going to draw a curve that goes in, comes out like that, some zigzags, and bring it back in. And right here, we're going to have another line. Same thing, other side. Taper in, come out, some zigzags here and there, and come all the way back like that for her hair. And in here, you can just draw a curve line right here for her ear for some details like that, if you want it. Like that. And then, now we can draw her legs. So we'll also find the center right here. And we're going to draw a line that kind of angles slightly right here too, this way. And we're going to connect it with a tapered curve like that for her feet. So right here, we're going to draw an angle line also. It follows this one and come out like that and bring it back in. And right here we're going to draw a curve for the band in her shoe and a curve like that for her shoe. So now you have her shoe. That's pretty cool, right? And right here, just bring it in like that and another curve for her band. So there, my Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Hope you like it. Thanks so much for watching and